Welcome to the spoken tutorial on type def and union in C. In this tutorial, we will learn about type def keyword, union keyword with the help of some examples. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu operating system version 11.10, GCC compiler version 4.6.1 on Ubuntu. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with C tutorials. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. I will start with an introduction to type def keyword. Type def keyword is used to give symbolic name to an existing type or user defined data types. It is a way to define alias to the commands. It helps to provide clarity to the code. It makes the code easier to understand and change. Syntax, type def, existing name, alias name, example, type def, unsigned, int, uint. Let us go through an example code. Note that our file name is palindrome.c. In this program, we will check whether the given number is a palindrome or not. We have given a live name as uint to the unsigned int data type using type def keyword. Here we are using uint to declare the variables. This is the logic for palindrome. Now let us execute the program. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Type gcc space palindrome dot c space hyphen o space palindrome. Press enter type dot slash palindrome. We see enter any three digit number. I will enter 121. The output is given number is a palindrome number. Now we will learn about union data type. Union is a collection of different data types grouped together. Union allocates one common storage space for all its members. We can access only one member of union at a time. Syntax 1 Union Union name within curly brackets Members After curly bracket Union variable and a semicolon. We also have an alternate syntax. Syntax 2 Union Union name within curly brackets Members After curly bracket semicolon, union, union name, union variable. Let us see an example. I have a code file. Let us go through it. Note that our file name is union.c. We have declared union name student. Here we have three variables, English, Maths and Science. In main function, we have declared a union variable as std. Here we can access the union members using union variable std.english, std.math and std.science. Then we calculate the total marks and display it. Let us execute on the terminal. Type gcc space union dot c space hyphen o space union type dot slash union the output is displayed as total is 2 to 8 let us see the difference between structure and union union allocates a common storage space for all its members 
Structure allocates separate storage space for all its members. Union occupies lower memory space. Structure occupies higher memory space. Example for union. Union, student. Int marks, care, name, six, double average. Memory allocation for union variable will be 8 bytes as double data type will occupy the maximum memory space. Example for structure, struct student, int marks, care name, 6, double average. Memory allocation for structure variable will be 2 bytes plus 6 bytes plus 8 bytes is equal to 16 bytes. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt type def, union and difference between union and structure. As an assignment, write a program to display records of an employee like name, address, salary. Define a union named employee. Give an alias name as EMP using type def. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test, for more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.